10 more than 10 months after the 2020 presidential election, Texas wants a review to make sure that some of the count was accurate. Our Brooke Katz in the CBSN DFW studio following this news that's breaking through the evening now. So the announcement comes from Austin and for a lot of people, including us, this came out of the blue. Yeah, Doug, it really did. The Texas Secretary of State notified us tonight in a short email that four counties in Texas will undergo an audit of the 2020 election. The office is calling it a full forensic audit. Dallas, Tarrant, Collin, and Harris counties all named in that audit, all except Collin County tallied more votes for President Biden than for former President Trump. Now, the Secretary of State's office is not explaining why those counties and not any of the other 250 counties included in the audit, but we do know from a statement the office sent to CBS 11, the Secretary of State says under existing Texas laws, the Secretary of State has the authority to conduct a full and comprehensive forensic audit, and the office anticipates the legislature will provide funds for this purpose. The announcement comes the same day former President Trump sent a letter, a demand letter to Governor Abbott telling him to conduct an election audit in the state of Texas. Trump won Texas overall by more than half a million votes. After the election, former Secretary of State Ruth Hughes called it smooth and secure, but she resigned in May after the Texas Senate declined to take up a confirmation vote, and since they didn't vote, state law required her to leave office. We have asked for clarification on who exactly made this decision and why, and we have not heard anything back as of yet. We're also working to learn just how much this might cost tax taxpayers. We're going to keep working the story, and as soon as we learn more, we will let you know. Doug. All right. Certainly hope to get answers sooner than later. Brooke, thank you very much.